All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the first ever episode of Edge of the Multiverse, my brand new comic book, movie, and TV news show. That's right, I'm getting in the news business, boys and girls. And speaking of news, here's some of today's big stories. So remember how Flash and Supergirl are going to cross over in this big musical two-parter? Well, TV Line announced earlier today that the role of the crossover supervillain, the Music Meister, would be played by none other than Glee alum Darren Chris, executive producer Andrew Kreisberg, was quoted as stating, With our Flash and our Supergirl being Glee alums, how could we not have them go up against another Glee favorite like Darren Chris? It was also revealed that the Flash episode in the crossover would be titled Duet, and that Jesse L. Martin, Victor Garber, John Barrowman, Jeremy Jordan, and Carlos Valdez will all be singing at some point in the crossover. Now that's all fine and dandy, and Flash fans know that some of those dudes can sing, but I'm sure Glee fans are probably way more excited for what's essentially going to be this big Glee reunion. Also in the news, we got a bunch of Logan confirmations today, and I am super excited about that. Director James Mangold revealed on Twitter earlier today that the movie is definitely 110% going to be rated R, with his tweet saying, Official, please be advised that Logan has been rated R for strong, brutal violence and language throughout, and for brief nudity. Yes, I am so down for a hard R Wolverine movie. The way the trailers have been coming across, Logan needed a hard R. The story just couldn't have been done right without it. On top of that, we also got a ton of new photos from the movie, fresh from Empire Magazine, and a few of them show off X-23 in action just slaughtering people. Now, I'm going to link to those in the description below, so if you're interested, go ahead, check them out, and let them know I sent you. Let's spread the word about Edge of the Multiverse here, folks. And speaking of Empire Magazine, they also released a brand new Justice League photo earlier today. Damn, they are on a roll with them updates. The photo was scanned from the most recent issue of their print magazine magazine and it shows Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, and Cyborg all just hanging out in what I guess is a part of this shot in the trailer. We don't get to see any Aquaman though, or Superman, which kinda sucks, but on the positive side, we might have gotten our first look at the movie's tagline after an alleged crew member's t-shirt showed up on eBay, with the text stating, they've never faced us before, not us united. Now the shirt has been bought off of eBay, but if that's really the tagline, I'm just gonna say, that's awesome. Bravo DC. I mean, I gotta get a shirt like that. You guys gonna sell any more? Also in the news, we got a couple little assorted bits of general Marvel goodness throughout the day. There's a new international trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 out right now. It's not really anything new, it's just a remix of everything we've seen so far, but it does still have Baby Groot being awesome, so I would highly recommend watching it again. We also got our first look at the new logo for the upcoming Black Panther movie via Twitter, found out via set photos that Martin Freeman is definitely gonna be in Black Panther, which is awesome. In case you didn't know, his character Everett Ross plays a big role in the Black Panther comics, so to see him on set is really cool. Here's hoping we get to see some Ulysses Claw at some point. Alright guys, that is going to be it for all the major updates today. If you liked what you saw in this video, go ahead and click that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm thinking about making this a weekly series, kind of on the fence about it right now, but if you like that idea, or maybe you just want this to be a daily upload or something, you know, make me like the Nerdy Scares or Keemstar or something like that, then let me know. Also, don't forget I am still doing a giveaway for a year's worth of Xbox Live or PS Plus. That giveaway ends at the end of this month, so you guys have till next week to enter. How do you enter? Well, all you gotta do is be a subscriber, like any of my videos, and leave a comment on any of my videos with your Twitter handle. Alright, I will see you guys next time. Later.